hey, I just got back from visiting some theme restaurants and I got some really good photos and autographs. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm a huge fan of celebrities. And that's why I was a complete sucker for entertainment. I was really excited when I first heard about theme restaurants. Spanning the worlds of movie stars. Well, we made some average noodle yesterday already. Sports heroes. Contribution to Menno is a Shadow Meal smoked turkey sandwich. And supermodels. <laughs> These restaurants are devoted to giving regular guys like me a taste of glamour. You can get some food, you can be sitting around, and sometimes. Griffey Jr. just be walking across the room. It sounded like these places were brimming with celebrities. I was on a mission to meet a celebrity. My first stop, Planet Hollywood. The restaurant's actually owned by Sylvester Stallone, Demi Moore, Bruce Willis, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. People are really uh, craving for Hollywood. Ooh, baby! Within minutes, I'd be munching a cheeseburger with Arnie himself. What a party! Strange. The only people eating here seem to be, well, non-famous. Now, you said uh, people often associate coming here with seeing celebrities. Absolutely. I decided to talk to the assistant general manager who took me directly to Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. His robe. Right there. Uh, obviously, it sparks up the feeling that, hey, this is uh, Rocky's robe. Maybe Sly is going to come in. Yeah. Have you seen any celebrities since you came in here? No, never. Never? Never. I was hoping to have a cheeseburger with Sylvester Stallone. Oh, really? Have you Did seen you? him? No. Sylvester Stallone? Yeah. From Demolition Man. Yep. How about that? Yeah, absolutely. Is he here now? Suspended in the ceiling. Bad, it's almost enough to put you off your food. Obviously, I would have to scale back my ambitions. So you've actually met Sly? Yes. So could I get your autograph? Gets cheeseburgers from Sly. When we came not too long ago, Rosie O'Donnell was here, but we missed her by about an hour. This is Arnold's mother's recipe for apple strudel. No. If I wore this, would that improve my chances of getting to eat the cheeseburger with Sly Stallone? Possibly. He'd like you better if, he's, if you're wearing his merchandise. Really? <laughs> this one's $190. $95? $65. Mm. $295. Meeting Sly was going to be more expensive than I thought. How about that? It's a good thing I applied for my very own Planet Hollywood Visa card. But before I got completely in debt, I wanted to meet a real celebrity. I headed over to the Fashion Cafe, which is owned by El McPherson. Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell, and Christy Turlington. Who needs movie stars when you can hang with sexy supermodels? Do you think we might see some supermodels? Oh, definitely. We can start right here on the wall with our supermodel calendars. Really? Right here? Yeah. Right. right here. Christy, Naomi, yes. Claudia. Somehow, flat, two-dimensional supermodels wasn't what I had in mind. But it became clear I would have to make do with other things. Right here are the Vivian Westwood platform shoes that are very famous because Naomi took her runway fall in these shoes. Are these the, the actual photo. ones that... These are copies, but the actual ones are in the Victorian Albert in London, so... Yes, you know, yes, so these are real copies. Real, authentic Of the originals, copies, yes. yeah. Are any of you supermodels? No. No, Eddie? No, sir. No. Sir. no. What's the most glamorous and exciting thing you've done since you came into the fashion cafe? Well. Um, read the menu. Yeah, read the menu. Good answer. <laughs> Though Naomi Campbell was nowhere in sight, I did meet Naomi Campbell's traditional fish and chips. Now, you, when you think of supermodels, you don't necessarily think of eating, mm -hmm. right? You don't, but obviously they do. That one's $1,500. I also met someone who hung out with Claudia Schiffer. She, do you remember anything she said? Thanks, David. See you next time. But I still hadn't given up on finding the real thing. Do you know if there are any hard rock stars in there at the moment? 
There aren't any. They're normally here, though, aren't they? No. Do you know if Diana Ross is in there right now? She's not. I was lost in a city of theme restaurants and no celebrities. I was beginning to think that theme restaurants market themselves as celebrity hangouts just to coerce people like you and me into shelling out 10 bucks for a cheeseburger. But then I saw a sign. Andre, Joe and Shaq wanted me to come eat with them at the All Star Cafe. Are there any athletes here right now? Uh, not yet, but we are expecting some. Really? No. Let's see what happens. No. We'll see. Who? Uh, the rumor has it Wayne Gretzky's going to stop. Here. Wayne Gretzky is coming here. Finally. While we were waiting for Wayne, Mike showed me around. And is the is the mannequin sculpted to the proportions of Monica you know Seles? That's a good question. I'm going to ask somebody about that. There is something funny going on up here, it's isn't there? It's a little cold in this room. It makes you feel welcome, though. Very welcome. So these are Shaq's Those are shoes. Shaq's shoes. They're enormous, aren't they? They are big. Can I wear these when I'm meeting Wayne Gretzky? You can. So do you think he might be here soon? Though? That's what they say. That's what yeah. happened. Yeah. Do you, do you think Wayne Gretzky might actually be up here? I don't know. Like what time? I'm not sure. Wayne was clearly a no-show. Mike did his best to make up for it. It's comfortable. You're sitting here, you've got the ball, you're in a mitt. But even sitting in a giant baseball mitt was no consolation. Then... Wayne Gretzky's uh, son is here, having no. lunch with his class. Wayne Gretzky's son. I was on my way to meet the great one, Junior. Which one is he? He's in the Ranger jersey, sitting on the end. Yeah, see the little? How about that? Wayne Gretzky's son just waved at us. How about it? Wait. Wait. Yes! So the next time someone tries to tell you that theme restaurants are just celebrities making millions of dollars selling overpriced t-shirts and burgers to people who expect to actually meet them, you just tell them about the wave.